point this. Hi, everyone. Thank you so very much for joining our second Monday Moments. Uh, this is a weekly event, and um, we'll see if I can get my next screen going here. There we go. This week, we are going to focus on Lewis Center. We have two communities there, and as I was speaking at the beginning of this, sometimes we just don't really know what all is out in the community. So this way we can do a little freshen up on that. Um, to any of my clients on the call, there will be several realtors on this call as well. Real estate agents that know their craft extremely well. Uh, at the end of the call, at the Q&A, I will ask all of the agents to input their contact information. For you as my client, if you're looking for a realtor, I would highly recommend that you contact one of these agents because if they're on the call, they're honing their craft, they're learning, learning more and um, they will comment and share any information, additional information on the communities as well that I may or may not cover. So let's dig into Lewis Center. Um, of course, there's Elm Creek. If you haven't been to the Christmas display there, it is just fantastic. Uh, great, great Christmas display. There's hiking, there's boating, there's fishing. There's also the Elm Creek Campground, which is quite a large campground as well. So fantastic community. Great to get in touch with nature. Of course, High Banks, a little gem of a community where you can hike back and every spring for as long as I can remember, uh, the baby eagles, you can watch them soaring around, learning how to fly, be with mom and dad. And uh, there's the biking, the canoeing, kayaking, cross country skiing. I've done that there several times, really enjoy it. The nature had the picnicking and fishing and sledding. Sledding there is fantastic. Then our next community, this is a park that I absolutely love. There are two paths, they connect together. One I call it on the high ground and one is lower down farther into the park. And the top picture is uh, farther down. Actually, both pictures are farther into the park. There uh, along the stream bed, there are so many concretions. And that little, I don't know who built that little wooden arbor, but it looks like a great place just to sit and enjoy nature. And on the Northern Park, there's a lot of hiking around as well. If you haven't done the zip zone, that is actually a lot of fun. Really need to do that. It's over by Camp Lazarus around that area close to 270. It's a fantastic, fun adventure. And then the Orange North Orange Park. This is a great area. It's at 23 and Home Road. It's on the um, southwest quadrant. There's the outdoor water park. There's nature trails, the soccer fields, fishing ponds, basketball. It's a great area with a lot of really fun amenities. There's an amphitheater there also. So fun outside activities. All right, this is one I haven't tried yet, but I have talked with people that have and they really love the Laser Craze Center. I guess it's fantastic to play on. Also one I haven't tried at my age, I'd probably need a diaper if I tried it. <laughs> Sorry if that's too much information, but the Sky Zone Trampoline Park, fantastic area to uh, bounce around in and have fun. And there are many golf courses around here. The Little Bear is just one of them. It is a public course. I heard it's a great course to play on. This is one that I hadn't heard of, but Mommy Land. And it's again, another indoor amusement park. I didn't check to see if that was probably closed right now, but uh, would be worth it to check out. And the Olentangy Indian Caverns are always a fun little adventure to go walk around in. And that's right at um, Home Road in between 315 and Liberty. And then Shoe Point Blank, this, this uh, is a great place to do target practice. Fantastic new community, I highly recommend it. And 
If anyone has not checked out the map for the bike and hiking trail, this is a fantastic map. So where you see the blue, those will be future communities coming in, uh, but everything else is existing. Over here, let me see, let me get to it, right? I have this on my little screen. Uh, here's, okay, right here, where you see my cursor, hopefully you can see it. That is where our Clear Creek community is. So see the red dot, that is a metal walking bridge going across 23. So our Clear Creek community hooks right into that existing. And then you just go, it's about a half a mile north to Lewis Center. This is the ravines location. It's a quaint little community right across from the original Olin TNG High School. So both are located in fantastic areas close to the walking and bike trails. And of course, we cannot miss speaking about the Orange Township Library that was built, I think about 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. Lovely, great complex, uh, glad we have that in the area. Plenty of shopping. If you go from Powell Road North, there's a whole corridor of shopping conveniently located to Polaris and Powell area. And then at Evans Farm, there will actually be, uh, Brad Jennings was the major contributor for the Ohio State Wrestling Complex. And there will be a workout facility at Evans Farm as well that he contributed to. There will also be shopping and restaurants in the area. <clears throat> and then of course, the Mount Carmel Park it's a medical facility as well as a fantastic workout center. And that is just across the metal bridge, the metal walking path from our Clear Creek community across 23. Now, our community at the courtyards at the ravines. This is a fantastic community. It's a cute, quaint boutique type of community. There are 55 homes here. It has the clubhouse, the pool, the workout room. It's a simple walk across the street to Kroger, to restaurants, to medical uh, as well. And we had several walkout basement home sites here. I only have two left and these are fantastic. I'll show you on the next slide. The bottom one third of this community is natural. There is a stream that comes up this way, goes across and then back down this way. That will all stay natural. The walkout basement home sites are right here. And also for all you realtors, right here is an inventory home. It's a fantastic home. You have a pond across. When you're upstairs and looking out, you just see green space and not another house. So that's fantastic. I also have an inventory home here as well as for other inventory homes. So Jeannie, we are, can't see your cursor. Oh, you can't? No. And it can't. I don't think I can get it over to there. Mm. Thanks, Kelly. There. OK, can you see it? There, now? Yes. OK, good. <laughs> We're going to go back to the bike path then, too. So right here is an inventory home for sale. It's a portico with a bonus floor and there's green space there. There's another move in now inventory home here as well. So these are um, single family homes that um, that backs up to. So that bottom one third of this community will all stay natural. And as I said, it's a condo community with standalone homes to it. Clear Creek, as well as the ravines, has a wider separation than most of our communities be between the homes, which is fantastic for your clients. At ravines, of those 55 homes, we have sold 30. 19 already have residents in them. This is a Lewis Center mailing. The average price here is $440,000 a home with a base price of $344,400. 
And as most of you know, I have seen anything from 2,000 to 150,000 in options put in homes. And I'll walk in the home with 200,000 and it still looks absolutely fantastic as well. This community only has $199 HOA. All the rest have a um, $225 HOA a month. And um, there is parking on one side of the street. Of my six inventory homes, two are completed. One is about six to eight weeks from completion and three will be stopped at drywall. So you can pick your choices for that home. Next, we're going to go over to Clear Creek. There we go. And if you haven't driven by there lately, you really should. We have a whole bunch of metal deer around that community. A lot of um, <clears throat> fun aesthetics to it. This is a rolling large community. It has great access to 23. It has great access to 315. And many of you already know this, but uh, Home Road is going to connect all the way to 71. So that's four lanes. It's going to go over the railroad crossing and the Lewis Center area and hook into 71. So all the traffic will go there. The traffic on Lewis Center Road will diminish quite a bit as well, which is fantastic. This community has two inventory homes. It has 130 homes in total. And it is a fee simple community. So you own the land, you own the home. In a condo community, all the residents own the land, you own the home. This community also has a joy of the wider separation between the homes. Here is the entire community. Um, it's a great community with uh, 14 acres all around of green space. It has five ponds to it. And right here is that metal walking path that goes across 23. So of those inventory homes, one is about six to eight weeks from completion. And the other is, will stop at drywall. Clear Creek is built on a little over 50 acres and the ravines is built on a little over um, 20 acres as well. Both communities, you can park on one side of the street. As I said, this one has a 225 HOA. In Clear Creek, you can build our rear as well as our side courtyard series of homes, as well as our brand new Capri, which is such a cute plan. That's at 1,330 square feet. So it's a nice small home. All homes are two bedrooms, two bathrooms on one story. If you add a second floor, then you're adding at a minimum a grand room and bathroom. And most of them have a living space, bedroom and bathroom. All realtors on the call, could you please do me a favor and input all of your contact information and we're going to start taking questions and answers. And Kelly, who is my faithful, wonderful, gorgeous assistant, is going to help out and um, let me know what questions that you have. And that way we can be the best respect for your time. So if you have any questions, type those in. Please, all realtors, type your information in. What I do next is I keep a running list on YouTube of uh, the Monday morning, Monday moments calls. And I also post on there all the realtors that attended the call as well. So does anyone have any questions on our two communities here in Lewis Center or any of our communities? We have nine total. And you can unmute yourself as well. Getting lots of information, no questions. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have been that thorough. <laughs> uh, but Lewis Center is great. We have um, two communities in Lewis Center, one in Powell, one in Buckeye Valley, which has 
course, the lowest property taxes, one in Jerome Village at Highland Run. We have one in Lewis Center, one at Moore Circle, or, I'm sorry, one in New Albany. Uh, and we just added Moore Circle, which has a New Albany mailing address. It has Gahanna taxes. We have Beulah Park down in Grove City, fantastic community. You can walk to everywhere. And of course, we have Riverside Drive, which we're adding probably in about two more months. That was such a hit. We're down to one or two of the original 80 homes remaining. In about two months, we'll add another 40 some homes to the north and introduce there as well as at Highland Run, a brand new floor plan, which will be just under 2,900 square feet on the first floor alone. So Kelly, any questions? Bill, just the information. Okay, and next week we are going to focus on the Epcon lifestyle. Uh, believe it or not, even with COVID, many of our communities have found fantastic ways to get together and um, respect uh, each other's health as well. So I'll have some residents on with that as well and share some pictures of some events that they have done. If I shut this off and you have not uh, put in your information yet, realtors, just know that I will uh, take emails from you and that way we can go ahead and add that onto the YouTube. So I want to thank absolutely everyone for coming out today. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs>